out uh, proximal gradient descent, proximal gradient descent algorithm. So we want to minimize f of x, which we can write as a sum of a smooth function g of x plus h of x, which is easy to evaluate prox operator. So our update rule is now like this, proximal eta h, xt minus eta is the step size times gradient of g of x of t. So if h of x is a indicator function, then proximal gradient is just projected gradient. And uh, recall from projection that, uh, you know, projection is a contraction operator. It means that if you project the difference of two projection, projection of y1 minus projection of y2. So projection operator reduces the distances. So it's contraction. So, so I want, with that analogy, I want to say that Similarly, for prox operator, prox operator, we have something like this with analogy to projection operator. For prox operator, we have similar. Uh, so, so we can say more generally that prox of x, h, uh, minus prox of uh, y times x minus y is greater than equal to prox of x minus prox of y squared. So uh, I can easily show that uh, from using simple Cauchy-Schwarz, remember Cauchy-Schwarz, using Cauchy-Schwarz, uh, you can show that you can get this. So we only need to prove this one. And to to prove it, let's con consider. So we want to show that uh, prox. Let me rewrite it again. Prox of y times x minus y is greater than equal to the difference of the prox at different points prox of y h squared. So if you just set this one equal to u and this one equal to v, then uh, we can write u is actually, in order to calculate that prox, we should minimize this function, h of u plus uh, x minus u squared. And to do this, you know that we can easily say that zero should be inside this uh, subdifferential, which is a set. And, and now uh, we should say that x minus u is inside h of u. And similarly, we can say y minus v is inside a uh, subdifferential subdifferential of h at v. So if, if h is convex, we know that uh, subdifferential is monotone. And uh, a quick proof is like this. You just write the definition for convex functions times y minus x. And also you can do it, we can write it like this, gradient of f of y times x minus y. So if you just uh, add them, you will notice that uh, we have the monotone condition. 
I mean, these monotonicity, monotone operators, all of them are very important in Douglas Rushford splitting, ADMM, monotone operator theory, all about these properties. So let's get back to our proof. So we can now write from definition of monotonicity, and we, as we, we just work on that, x minus u minus y minus v times u minus v is greater than zero from the definition of monotone. And then we, we can write x minus y times u minus v is greater than equal to u minus v squared. And from this, you can easily say that we have proved and proximal of x at h minus proximal of y at h, this one is greater than equal to the difference of the prox. And our proof is now complete. For gradient descent of smooth function g, we can, we can write uh, g times uh, xt plus 1, which is xt minus 1 over beta gradient of g of xt. I mean, this is the update. So this is, we have shown that for smooth beta, we can write it uh, g, of, uh, g of x minus g of x minus 1 over 2 beta gradient of g of x squared, for, we know is from quadratic upper bounds that we have proved before. And now we, we have this rule, xt plus 1 is equal to projection of xt minus eta gradient of g of xt. So the gradient mapping is a way, the definition, the gradient mapping Gradient mapping G, G, capital G, G of eta x is by definition x minus prox eta h, x minus eta gradient of G of x. And now we can uh, formulate our update rule using simple capital G. So it is the standard formula. It becomes very standard like uh, previous formulas. So note that G of eta, this one is in general not inside, in general not inside subdifferential of x1. And this is very interesting. And now let's talk about uh, the update rule that we have just formulated using our new g of eta xt. So equivalently, we say when x minimizes uh, this function f of x, which is g of x plus h of x, it means that um, in order to satisfy the minimization, it should satisfy g of eta of x is equal to zero. And uh, so, uh, so recall that g of eta is by definition one over eta x minus projection proximal proximal eta h x minus eta gradient of g of x. And when I say g of eta x at point x hat is equal to zero, it means that x hat should be the, uh, I mean, optimal solutions are the only fixed point of the proximal gradient update, because now we can write proximal eta h, x hat minus eta gradient of g of x. So, so the update stops if it is the fixed points of the prox operator. So if we, so we can write this as saying that x hat 
minus eta gradient of g of x hat minus x hat is inside so this is just a definition of this so from here we can say that this one should be inside eta sub differential of h point uh, x hat and if if now define u as x hat and also x hat we can say it is x then I can I can show that if u is prox of x uh, at at point x, it means that zero should be inside uh, subdifferential of h at u plus one over eta u minus x, or in other words, I can say x minus u is inside eta subdifferential of h of x. So knowing that we can write minus eta gradient of g of x hat is inside eta uh, subdifferential of h x hat, and then uh, you know that we can write this as zero is inside gradient of g of x hat plus h of x hat. So. This means that x hat is optimal solution, if and only if this holds. So in order to work, uh, uh, to extend our previous results, we need some, we need to prove some lemma. I mean, the key lemma that I will prove in the future lecture will be uh, the fact that I mean, analog to, with analogy to uh, what we did for smooth beta, that we have something like this, is less than g of x minus two beta uh, gradient of g of x squared. Now we want to, to do the same results now for proximal operator. So f is g plus h, g is beta smooth and h Sorry, G is beta smooth, and also alpha is strongly convex. So the dilemma that I want to prove is, is that F of, I will prove next lecture, in the next lecture that F of X minus eta G of X is less than equal to F of Z plus inner product of g eta x minus z you see they are almost the same minus eta over 2 g eta of x squared minus alpha over 2 x minus z no we need these bounds because as we have done before, we want to find the error, the bound and the error. And by, by just using z is equal to xt and x is equal to xt, we will see that fxt plus 1 is equal to, I mean, the update is g of x. Remember, this is the capital G, not the small g. And this is less than f of x t, and that is nothing, and eta to g of x t squared and uh, and zero, and so so it strictly improves your bounds, as I will show in the next lecture.